What's up, everybody? It's that guy, Supreme Decisions, and I'm here today because, one, I haven't been here in a while, but I wanted to make sure I got some th stuff out to you. Now, today, this is not one of the that goes into the finishing of the 100, but something that is done or should be utilized or taken note of. So get your pens and paper out. Let's get ready to go for some, because this is part of one of the things that I often speak about when I speak of evidence gathering. Now, I was watching a court show today, and one of the things that kind of blew my mind was this lady, she actually was being accused of a burglary. And in the midst of doing that, she had gone not to the neighbor's house, but to a an adjacent property probably a little bit catty cornered to where she was accused of robbing. And she got copies of the videotape from somebody's home security cameras. I thought that was genius. But then it also took me back to when I spoke about Officer Muhammad when he had actually shot at and actually shot uh, a 16 year old autistic child in Chicago and in his report stated that this young man was aggressively approaching him where in fact the home security video that was by Vivid, you know not really getting anything from that but I want you to make sure their cameras are phenomenal so if you don't have it but you have Vivid, go get the cameras because not only did it catch the video at night or in a darkened set, but it also caught the audio from what was going on between the officer and the 16-year-old, which then showed that the officer had lied in his report and that this 16-year-old child was literally skipping down the street and not doing what the officer said. But these are things that most people don't think to even ask for. Because these are things that are created from things that are officer logs, the crime scene logs, and even 911 calls. Because you can go and look for details that are not noted in anything. Because most people are not going to note that the home, the house, three houses down on the opposite side of the street has video. They may not even go and question everyone in that neighborhood or in that area that may have witnessed that event. This offers you an opportunity to create your picture. Because again, not every time when you're attacking the evidence does it allow for something that may or may not be in there, but it may offer you an opportunity to broaden your strokes while you're doing this during trial. and. The biggest thing is because I often say police officers are not equipped or not trained to solve cases. They're generally there to create revenue. And you're going to have opportunities where their observations are things that are overlooked or not even looked at. So, hope you got something from today's episode. Continue to support the channel through donations continue to support the podcast with monthly donations as 99 cents 4.99 and 9.99 as well as join the tier i'm going to list them up you're going to have an opportunity i'm going to be putting things out that's going to be phenomenal and january 1st 2021 we will be moving into the studio thanks to all you guys that are supporting the channel that are doing things to help this channel move forward. So we're gonna keep going and keep growing. So that's all I got for right now. Thank you guys. And like I said, don't forget your t-shirts. We also have them in white now. Love them, love you. Supreme. Hey, this is uh, Chicago Police Officer Sergeant Muhammad. I got a person down.
I need police. I need, yeah, I need ambulance. I'm behind Morgan Park High School. I'm a sergeant of police. I need an ambulance right now. What happened? The guy pulled, like he was about to pull a gun on me, walked up to the car, and I had to shoot. 